Dramatic new security video reveals the tense brawl that led to a police shooting in Oxnard. A wanted man wrestled and punched an officer repeatedly before that officer opened fire. And the struggle with the suspect didn't end there. Tonight, CBS 2's Chris Holmstrom is live in Oxnard with the video. Chris. Peter and Susie, this was a fight for your lifestyle altercation, and it all happened in a matter of minutes. Surveillance video shows the moment Oxnard police officer Daniel Anse shot 30 year old Joel Tapia Jr. It was Sunday evening. Officer Anse was making his rounds at this mobile home park. He was looking for Tapia, a known criminal with an outstanding warrant. Assistant Police Chief Eric Sonsigar describes what went down. Once he sees Mr. Tapia, he's only a few feet away from him, so he chooses to make contact with him at that point and um, decides to take him into custody, and that's when the physical altercation began. The chaos moves to the street. That's when Tapia's family comes outside. You can hear the family trying to get him to stop, but the brawl continues. As he would try to reach for that taser, Mr. Tapia would would pull the officer's wrist away and was kind of uh, um, not allowing him to access those tools. At one point, the suspect turns the officer on his back and starts punching him multiple times. And at this time, Officer Anse's gun has dislodged from his holster and it's uh, now sitting next to him. So it's kind of like the officer needs to get to it before Mr. Tapia gets to it. It was then Officer Anse shot the suspect in the arm. After a couple more punches, Tapia takes off to his home. SWAT is called to the scene, and after multiple attempts to get him to surrender, officers make entry to the home and arrest him. He has several prior arrests for either resisting the efforts of an officer or uh, fighting with police officers. We're very aware of his history. And Tapia was booked into the Ventura County Jail. He's facing several charges tonight, including resisting arrest and assaulting an officer. Reporting live from the Oxnard Police Department, I'm Chris Holmstrom, CBS 2 News. All right, Chris, thanks. A stunning arrest of a Cal State Northridge student. CBS 2's Tom Wade is live tonight with details about the star athlete. Tom. And Susie and Peter, the charges are a long list. According to police, they say this star athlete is accused of sexual assault across this campus and beyond, and they're worried there could be other victims out there. He was a student athlete featured on the Cal State Northridge 2017 soccer team. But now 19-year-old Davis Moreno Jaime is in a jail cell, locked up on accusations of sexual assault. I am grateful to the brave students and other young women who stepped forward to provide information to the police regarding sexual assaults. CSUN's president and chief of police announced the arrest during a press conference today. They released few details, only telling us Moreno Jaime was arrested on campus at 1230 and that multiple alleged victims are involved across several jurisdictions. The incidents were reported between April of 2017 and July of 2018. When asked how the 19-year-old allegedly attacked his victims, CSUN police said this. I will say that this was not not your stereotypical jumping out of the bushes kind of thing. On campus, we found soccer players who know Moreno Jaime and saw a social media post warning people to steer clear of him. One of my friends put it up like a week or two weeks ago uh, saying that uh, the guy is, uh, that we should be very careful of him, that I, I don't know what he did exactly, but it was just saying that we should be very careful of him on campus if we see him around. Students say they sympathize with victims who may struggle to come forward. Difficult for a lot of people to come out when they are victimized in such a way. And police realize the situation is very sensitive for alleged victims. They want people to know if they come forward, the entire process can remain confidential. Reporting live in Northridge, I'm Tom Waite, CBS 2 News. All right, Tom, thanks. Breaking news out of Mead Valley where three people have been shot. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department says it happened in the 21,000 block of Barton Street. That's a rural area west of Lake Paris. Deputies are still searching for suspects tonight. And tonight, police in Newport Beach say they've arrested the man who jumped off the Lido Bridge and landed on a passing boat, injuring a woman on board. Police say the suspect is 27-year-old Cody Green of Costa Mesa. He's now facing assault and vandalism charges.
PCH in Malibu is back open tonight after a deadly crash. It shut down a stretch of the road for several hours near Trancas Canyon Road. Police say the driver of a minivan lost control while trying to pass another car. The minivan jumped a median and then slammed head on into a pickup. Two people were killed and two others were hurt, including a bicyclist who was hit by flying debris. A robbery at a T-Mobile store. A man and a woman pretending to be customers grabbed a handful of cell phones in Garden Grove and made a run for it. Tonight, CBS 2 Stacey Butler shows us what happened. I'm just a sale rep, and I'm a girl, and I'm, I'm I just scare. The second robbery in just two months has employees who work at this T-Mobile in Garden Grove on edge, afraid of when they'll be targeted again. Everywhere you go, you feel like. Is something going to happen? Today, just before 3 o'clock, a man and a woman walked into the T-Mobile store in this busy strip mall and pretended to shop. But as soon as the man turned and looked at the woman, security tape shows him ripping an iPhone out of the wall and lunging at the store clerk. Then the woman tried ripping a Samsung phone from the display counter. She didn't have much luck. She grabbed wire cutters from her pocket. That's a really strong cable, but they have like strong scissors or something. They Cut it off. In the front of the store, the clerk tried to protect the phones. I just tried to stop them. But when he saw the man pull a knife out of his pocket and pointed at him, he fell back and called police. If I'm not calling police, this will be happening again. As the woman kept cutting cables, securing phones, the guy ripped the counter out of the wall to get to two iPhones. The pair grabbed four phones worth almost $4,000, pushed past the clerk, and ran before police had a chance to show up. Employees are worried if something doesn't change, it's just a matter of time before they're robbed again. This corner pretty much very like deep in the plaza, so it's not safe in this area. A witness told police that the robbers drove away in a black sedan, possibly a Honda. If you have any information, Garden Grove police would like to hear from you. In Garden Grove, Stacy Butler, CBS 2 News. President Trump is lashing out at the Lakers' LeBron James after seeing an interview tonight with CNN anchor Don Lemon. Our president is kind of trying to divide us, um, but I think... Kind of? Yeah, <laughs> he is. He is. <laughs> Not, I don't want to say kind of. He's, he's dividing us, and, and what I noticed over the last few months, um, that he's kind of used sport to kind of divide us, and, I, and that's something that I can't relate to because I know that sport was the first time I ever was around someone white. The president apparently took issue with James' assessment of his leadership abilities during his interview with Lemon. The president tweeted, LeBron James was just interviewed by the dumbest man on television, Don Lemon. He made LeBron look smart, which isn't easy to do. I like Mike. It's assumed that Mike is a reference to Michael Jordan. Well, if you love cats and cute little <laughs> kittens, the Carson Animal Shelter could really use your help. Yeah, but that's because of an unexpected delivery. Someone dropped off 36 cats and kittens in U-Haul boxes. They are so cute. Yeah. And right now, they're asking people to foster them or just donate to their vet bills. Yeah, we have all the details on our website, cbsla.com, under Scene on TV. Let's hope they all find their forever Please. homes. Please. Well, should have picked a better getaway car. Still ahead, the man who led police on a chase. And get this, a motorized scooter. Plus this. <laughs> I thought they're crazy as hell. That's what I thought. A two on your side report. Renters left with a big bill from the landlord when they moved out. And our Christine Lazar gets some results. Local sport fishing tours sold out because of big game fish and the weather. We'll explain why. And the heat is on. Speaking of the weather, as we head into the next couple of days and beyond, more on the heat wave when we come back. Oh, so many great <laughs> songs. I haven't seen this moment. Hotel California, gotta love it. And just before Colbert, the CHP schools everybody with their epic lip sync challenge video. And it is so epic. And here's the look at the guest tonight on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert.